Hello there, my fellow steelworkers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 87, Refractory Bricks. So, uh, once we put the fire there, uh, we do need to be able to plug it. So, I'm going to get rid of this glass lab to be able to plug it up quick. So, we'll have... So, in order to... Well, actually... We'll want to hmm. even this piece. That's starting to look weird, but the idea is like to plug it like that. Doesn't look great. It'd be better in glass if I had glass blocks. Um. But I don't think, uh, at least for right now, I'm going to do a, a bloomery run for glass blocks. That's like not interesting to me. The other thing is like digging out the charcoal. I, I don't have a method to do without having to rebuild some stuff. So it's it's a it's it's rough. Let's just go with that. It is a rough setup, uh, but it, at least it will function, I think. And that's what matters. So let's get that running. I'm going to pick this glass up because I was just inevitably I was going to walk on it. Yeah, in case of fire break, break glass, that is exactly right. All right, what do I need? I need um, a fire source, dry grass, and some firewood. Can a charcoal kiln build with door? I don't know. If it can, I would love... To, I, it's just one of those, like, I should probably play test those types of experiments rather than uh, live test them where they can totally go wrong and, and me waste a lot of my own time. No, it leaves a gap? Okay. Well, there you have... Oh! I already had... Unlabeled boxes, FTL. I already, I already had tons of firewood. Well, at least it's going to make the next run of it a little easier. Uh, do I not have dry grass anywhere? Unlit charcoal pit. Well, let's do it. You can see the second countdown timer here. But plugged. There really isn't much to look at unless I actually had glass blocks. I, I, I get that. It was a lot of effort and I'm not benefiting from it. But why, uh, you know, we can, we can just imagine. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I think it looks cool. Also, I mean, I do see these logs, so like, I'll know when they're charcoal. Um, okay, next step. Make, re, uh, I'm going to spell refractory wrong. A refractory mix. Because I want to kill them. So we need a total of 53 brick blocks. Uh, yeah. And six brick gratings. So I'll show you what those look like, the gratings. So this is a brick grating where it's... Um, we only needed two of these recipes. It's mortar and and the bricks on the side. And this, um, these gratings go here, right underneath the coffin section, so that the heat from your uh, coke or charcoal or fuel sources rise up and um, 
trigger the cementation uh, furnace process. That's sort of how it goes. So, here's our, some of our materials. And going down to my fire clay bin. I might need more fire clay. No, we have eight stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be enough. So here we go. Is it? Yep, there it is. Unfired refractory brick. That is what we want. Exciting stuff. Hmm. Uh. Hello. What? Wait, what is going on here? <laughs> um. That's strange. It was giving me. Okay, there we go. I don't mind making refractory bricks for half of the clay cost. It just is not supposed to be like that. So now we have all these unfired refractory bricks. And let's make our pit kilns just here. Might as well. I mean, you know. Oh, crack granite. And of course, like, I set it up in such a way that I fall in and can't get out. Yay! Go me! Things to be improved upon. So we'll have, um... We'll have pit kilns... Oh, right, I was... Well, it's not going to be symmetrical now, but it will be symmetrical eventually. Pick kilns down there for the bricks. And I think it's, what, 12 per kiln? I could do 12 at a time. Don't forget to put a roof over the pick kilns. I mean, I don't, I don't need that, because rain's not going to come down. That's more of like a make sure rain doesn't ruin your day measure. Uh, let me just double check that refractor bricks are... 12 at a time. Because if it's more, like, I might as well just min-max it. Come on, wiki. It's not telling me. So, one, two, three, uh, let's do one more row. It is a little odd, or even I could do, do it like a grid here. This would work. So the back half of my, um, of my storage is for fire things. Kind of like that. And what I'm aiming to do is, like, at least, um, fire up. Uh, half of all the bricks I have, so I can make it in two runs. I don't need to do it in one run, because I'm going to have to fire it up and then go get iron, and then I'll have plenty of time to set another kiln run up while the bloomeries run for the iron. And I might even need to make... Um, I might need to even make regular fire clay bricks for um, for another purpose. You know what? You can, yeah, you can just hang out there. Okay, uh, so I'll put refractory, unfired refractory bricks in there. Cool. 
Can barrels catch fire? Um, they can, but not only uh, immediately adjacent. There's not there. There's space between them, so they in this configuration it should be fine. Uh, all right, let's continue. Um, now the next thing that's going to be annoying is the dry grass that I don't have much of. Because it's winter and I don't have it stockpiled and don't have fields protected. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh, it wants um, sticks too, right? Duh. Duh. I like, what is going on? But yeah. It's been a while since I did Pit Kiln. So, there's one that is ready. Uh, but I really do not have a lot of peat, don't have a lot of dry grass. So, let's go get that stuff. Which I'm not eager to do because of how annoying it is to. I'm just destroying all that. All this is like eating grass. So I'm just killing grass now. Uh, hmm. I will steal from my animals. They're all over there anyway. So I have... I should count it. It's, um... One, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten more. Oh, man. This, this is going to be a labor of love here. Because, as you can see, there's a bit of a problem. Is there an easier way other than excavating with a shovel? I don't think there is. I think this is just going to be a very annoying process, unless I'm unaware of a mechanic that makes it not terrible. Is somewhere in my world that hasn't snowed maybe a lot of this map is just like I haven't been there in a while I think it's more the if the time spent to get somewhere where it may not have snowed will be greater than the time spent digging up some dry grass so If I'm um, traveling to get iron, maybe it's worth, like, stopping if there's gr dry grass available. So that future runs for pit kilns are not so labor-intensive, but heading out now seems like a, a bad gamble. Yeah, I would have to travel pretty far south where it's um, a different biome. For it to not to be an issue. Now, I do have some sections like this area that was protected due to my lovely floating greenhouse. So, thank you, greenhouse. Also, seems like I am maybe going to break my scythe in this process. Maybe.
And this is another reason why um, if you run out of grains for animal husbandry, it's a little annoying because um, obviously the a lot of animals do eat dry grass as a food source, um, which means that when it there's not snow in the ground, it's pretty easy to feed your uh, your animals. But as soon as there's snow on the ground, like you can't rely upon mass reaped dry grass to just easily feed them all. So you need to rely more on uh, grains. Yeah, this isn't this isn't like horrible. We're, we're getting through this reasonably. Lucas Mar, thank you for the uh, the sub. Welcome. Okay, almost had a. I didn't actually count it, but I was pretty close. And it might be worth me mentioning that past me did um, go to a bit of effort to flatten out. Oh, did my? Oh no, I just put it away. To flatten out the grounds around the base, if you remember. And I'm benefiting from that now. I actually did a bunch of landfill, because this all was sort of hilly and weird. Which means it's uh, just a lot easier for me to obtain uh, grass as a result of all that landfill work that I, I did. What do you mean, spawn-proof the kilns? If you're wondering about roofing them, um, the only reason I roof them outside is because it can rain and it puts the uh, it puts them out. But provided that it does not rain on you, which down here I'm not going to get rain unless I punch a hole in the roof into the lake. Uh, should be just fine. So I need two or four, eight, twenty-eight. Peat. I don't think I have twenty-eight peat. I have twelve peat. I'm gonna leave this peat here and go get some more. Drifter shell spawn? Um, it's... I, I could stick another lantern down there and stop them. But hey, if drifters spawn down there and step on my pit kilns and kill themselves, I don't really see that as a problem. I see that as a solution. is such a wonderful fuel source.
if you're ever wondering, if you ever just show up to the stream and you're wondering what's going on, uh, I always have it written above my head. Sometimes I forget to update that, but generally I'm pretty good about that. PETA! Whoops. Someone was holding the A key when uh, editing that. So this should be enough fuel to kick off uh, a little bit more than half of the refractory bricks we need. Don't know what refractory is? Uh, refractory is the bricks needed to move, make a steel furnace. So I'm putting the rest of the peat here, except for this stack, which will go up in the kitchen. So I just have like materials used for kilning in that box. Unlabeled, meaning I will uh, very promptly forget that I'm doing that. Because of, of course that is tradition. So we'll get this lit. cool. It's too bad that the barrel's there. I wish it would finish up, but it'll, that barrel will be gone in five days. Now, there's one other thing that I should have done before this process and failed to, so that's on me, which was I should have done a bloomery run for Meteoric Iron, because I'm heading out in a second to get more um, iron. And the problem is I don't have a lot of pick HP. And if I was smart, I would have just fired up two bloomeries like ahead of time so that I had more meteoric iron to work with. But I wasn't smart, so I may want to do something else while the meteoric iron gets processed. Because I don't have, um, I don't even have a spare iron ingot to make another iron pick. But the durability left on this iron pick means it's not worth me, um, it's not worth me leaving the base and mining iron because the pick will break way before I get enough iron worth the trip. Okay, you can stop spinning. Uh, probably that's the easiest to replace. Might as well harvest grass? You might be right. I'm going to need more grass, so that's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Um, there's one other thing I could do, which was... So, harvest grass and make a few more lanterns. Illuminating the, um, the, the storage area would be smart as well. So that... Because, you know, you can always use more lanterns. So 600 units will make three lanterns. Oh, three more lanterns.
What's in the bottom right of the tannery chest? I will look in a minute. Uh, minstrel gloves. I have fur gloves on. I have a bunch of, like, old clothing um, in these chests. Here's the candles that I'll eventually need. No, I can put all, like, the old clothing together. Oh, I even had flint in there. I'll pretend I didn't. Yeah, you can see all the older clothing. Need some more food. This is good for eight more hours. Works for me. And we'll add some onions to it. What I can do is I can make like a meteoric iron scythe once I have the meteoric made. I don't need to treat meteoric metal as like some sort of precious tier never to be touched. <laughs> it's good for 30 years! Nice. Um, you know, I'll just use it as needed. Still pregnant. Uh, yes. What was it? Oh, yep. Yeah, we need uh, fuels for that. So I've got uh, meteoric iron for new tools coming, and then copper for ingots. So let's hook up the health hammer because I'm going to be using that soon. Oh, there is a angled gear that um, got dismantled. There we go. The angled gear can't just like sit on their own, so I destroyed a piece of the um, a piece of the pulverizer that was not wise. But hey, I caught it before I lost an angled gear. Could be worse. Checking the farm out. I doubt anything has grown. It's simply just too cold. It is negative four out. Most of these crops aren't really going to grow. So on the unlikely chance that we get a mature crop, we could. And I have been leaving, um, I have been leaving, you know, the old soils alone. To be replaced once I have more time to do that. Oh, that is heating up. That is blooming. I've got another task to do besides replacing farm tiles. That looks cool. That's the aesthetic I was going for. Oh, you know what? My barrel is gone. So, rip rot. I thought it would be safe, but apparently it was not. That looks pretty cool. Uh, don't worry, I'm just a little bit on fire. Flaming angel coming through. Oh, right when I... Okay. Maybe it's not worth trying to get back there and... Uh, <laughs> and... Yep. Yeah. Might want to have a permanent water source down there. Yeah, I can see the appeal of that. But when I set my butt on fire. I could also put the, as long as I don't fall into the pits, I could have a walkway path here elevated 
And then if I do fall into the pits, there's these side sections that I can climb up out of. So that will help keep me from being scorched. Mostly. Mostly. Not perfect. Okay. Uh, these are for permanent water. Um, but let me check on. Yep. Check out my copper. Now my food. That was satiating. Meat hits the spot in game. Probably not gonna rot fast enough for me to like need to do anything about that. All right, let's fill up those pits. And then maybe get the last kiln going. Oh, that's not how to do that. There we go. Of course I did that, right? Of course. Um, hmm. I mean, technically it's a water source. Not really what I had intended. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because that wouldn't be a solid block. Alright, hang on a minute. I'll fix this up real quick. Be gone, water. Alright. A little bit of tomfoolery, but... I did it again! I, I, okay. Let's just blame my illness. I, I do have... I don't even know what I'm sick with anymore. But anyone that is familiar with what I normally sound like, I don't sound like myself. Empty bucket. Good. It's an empty bucket. I can't make that, that mistake twice. Uh, all right, what are we waiting on? So we're waiting on the copper to cool. Um, let's start that last kiln firing so that we have all of them going. I think I need a bit more hay grass for that. Can you move tanning liquids with a bucket? Yes. You can. Or a jug, which is a ceramic. Both work.
Ow. I'm not actually on fire. That's good. All right. We are now killing it. Uh, all right, so I could just collect more grass while I wait. Unless the these are going to be cool soon. So yeah, let me just collect more grass then. Because we're going to need more pit kilns. Or I could go... Well, no, I need I need the pick first. We really... Oh, I put my only lantern. Oh, but I'll just use a torch. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so really what I'm waiting to, to do is to make a new pick. Because... Oh, I didn't even ring the scythe. Um, because I don't want to go iron mining without a fresh pick. And a meteoric pick's going to be even nicer than the... Um, than the regular iron one that I have. Dwarven Nation, thanks for the gifted subs, dude. Does rabbits eat dry grass? This is the other thing is I could try to trap that rabbit. I forget what their diets are. I know like I could put a carrot or whatever. some point I should well I actually don't really care about rabbits capturing them dig 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 yep such is the punishment for not stockpiling up dry grass pre snow Cinema Knight, thank you for the bits. Your standard spicy entrance? <laughs> now, I have to ask. Cinnamon challenge? Have you? Yes? No? And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, please, please don't. Spare yourself the pain and suffering. I did it once, not knowing better, any better, decades ago. The cinnamon challenge is a, a tablespoon of cinnamon in your mouth, and it is not a good time. It sounds like something that is tolerable, but it truly is not. It truly is not tolerable. You will choke, and it will burn, and it's bad. Snoozer, thank you for the bits as well. Ooh, a hype train. Well, cheers, hype trainers. Oh, uh, I'm gonna pause a second. Cheers. My lovely um, pit to capture animals is immediately adjacent to something terrible. Uh. Is dry grass not a valid thing to catch anything with? That's interesting, because it's like proper fodder, but it it's not a... Okay, so I'm going to have to come back with like a carrot or something. Again, I don't really care about bunnies. I was just coming out here to come out here. Now let's get away from these rifts, because they're going to drive my character uh, insane. And now, with my scythe broken... Getting grass has never been more riveting. <laughs> One, two. Dry grass didn't work. I, it didn't show that it was a valid food source for anything. It is in a trough, but maybe not in a trap. I think those are different fundamentally. All right, I'm going to stop with the dry grass because it really is not, um, it's not a good time to do 
by hand without a scythe. Very bad. So I could uh, I could amass even more firewood for the next pit kiln, because the amount of charcoal that you need for carbonization process is a lot. Oh, where did that? Go? Oh, right, I took that out. Um, it is intense. It is an intense amount of resources. So having a huge stockpile of firewood is going to save me some time. Really, what I'm trying to do is I'm just cutting down on any prep time that I I could need. But I'm pretty sure. These are hardened. Perfect. Mm, Bloomery. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind, I've asked for no backseating, so if you could respect that, that would be great. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Twitch. And if you'd like to join my online gaming community, it also has a link to Discord, and the link to that can also be found in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell. <laughs>